Hi there and welcome to the tutorial about Framer Motion, which is a really really cool animation library for React. It's very simple to use and it gives uh, this physics based natural transitions um, for you. Uh, you basically just set values like from and to and it will do everything for you. Um, it has it's a very competent library, very mature, uh, a lot of support for gestures as well, like drag and orchestrations here. Um, yeah, so what we will do today is uh, this top menu here uh, that will animate down the menu and also rotate the icon as well. And you see it's a subtle bounciness on the menu and also on the icon. It's hard to see on the icon, but yeah, it, it does a lot for the end user, right? These small subtle extra animations that you can't or is really hard to do in CSS with the easy in is out, like it's it feels so um, yeah unnatural compared to this one. So let's start out. Um, I'm using Code Sandbox again. Uh, feel free to use whatever editor you want and we'll use one dependency. It's Framer uh, Motion. I've already installed it here but uh, just uh, hit enter on Framer-Motion or npm install Framer-Motion. So I've set up my basic skeleton here. Uh, it's a div uh, with a class name of menu, so we can style it red and big. And inside it, we have three H1s, I don't know. We'll also add an icon as well later. Um, so I'll just add the styling really, really quick here. Uh, so our, I didn't want to skip the styling as well, right? Because it's a part of the animation. Um, of course. Uh, so menu, uh, the background should be red because like you need to know the styling, right? If it has some properties so you can animate them. Um, and the height should be 100 view height and the width should be 100 view width like this. Uh, position fixed and top zero, whoops, position, like that. Uh, so it's fixed, it takes up all the screen and it starts at top zero at the very top. I'll add a Z index of one because our icon should have a Z index of two so it can always be visible on top of the menu. Um, and I'll use flexbox to align this to the center. So display flex, so it will flex its children, um, and we'll change the flex direction to column instead of row, which is the default one. Um, and now justify content center and also align item center. Boom. And now we will style our h1 with a color of white right great so we head back to our javascript here and i thought i could insert the icon as well now and we can start to animate uh, the rotation of it and set the click um, yeah click handlers and i'm using css.gg here uh, it's a free, it's free uh, icons that you can use, and I'll add a search for the plus sign here. And there's various way you can implement it. I'll just copy and paste the SVG right into my whoops my markup here. Um, I'll put it on top of the menu, and we can style that as well. So let's say SVG should have a z index of 2 and position fixed as well always on top there uh, and we can change the 
fill color. Ah, we can do it here, right? Uh, whoops, and then we can move it to the right 20 pixels and top maybe 20 pixels should be enough. We have it there, great. So, now on to the fun stuff. Uh, let's import first of all a component called motion from Framer Motion. And we can do all this magic <laughs> animation stuff uh, by prepending. Like if I want to animate this SVG, I just add motion.svg. And then I can pass some additional properties here to animate. And you can do it on all native elements, HTML elements, H1, div, spans, whatever you want. So just set motion before. So, first of all, I want to set up a state with hooks, right? So I'll import use state as well, like if it's opened or not. And I want to add a click handler to our SVG here, so we toggle it on off, right? So I'll create a state first, um, call it is open and set is open. And it should initially be false. Whoops, need a big S here. So our state is false, and uh, just because it has motion, it still like supports everything, of course. Like this is normal React is on click. Um, so what we will do is we will set is open to should we set it to false or true? Um, we don't know. We just want to inverse it, right? So we don't know what the state will be. Um, therefore, instead of passing a value, we can pass a callback function. Uh, so then we will get our state and we will set it to the inverse, right? So if it's true, we set it to false and vice versa. Uh, so now we have connected our click handler to our state. And now we can go to the animation stuff, right? So, what can we pass to these motion components? Well, um, um, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff, but for us, we will pass in like an object uh, that motion, uh, frame motion calls variant. So, we will create an object here, like um, you'll see very soon, we'll call it um, icon variants, right? And um, the keys here, you can name them whatever you want. I want to name them so I know what's happening. So open and then closed. So open and closed. Um, and I'll just pass them in here. So variants, I'll just pass my icon variants. Then... Uh, this SVG will know, like, um, how do you say, how do I explain this? On opened, maybe I want the scale to be 1, and when it's closed, I want the scale, or let's say 2 there. So when it's opened, it should be a lot bigger, and then it should have a normal scale when it's closed. So now this knows what it will do. Uh, and I choose and toggle the state with on the animate property here. So if I pass in, let's say, opened, you see here, if I refresh, I say animate to opened. And then it will look at its variants here and say, and find opened, and then it will go to scale 2. And initially it has normal scale 1, so it does this animation for us, right? But I don't want to animate uh, scale, first of all, and I don't want it to be initially when the component mounts, right? And we have support for that. Initial, we pass in false, and then nothing will happen. So if I refresh here, you'll see nothing happens. And here, I don't want to hard co code opened, right? Um, 
it should animate like if the state is true it should animate to so if it's opened it should animate to opened right and if is open here our state is false then it should animate to closed so therefore we need a variable here we can't hard code a string it should yeah so when this change this animate property change it will animate so that's how you trigger it um, so we, ch we check our state our hook here if it's open um, so uh, then it will go to the opened variant otherwise closed so if I refresh here it should work like now our state is false and when I click on this icon our state will be true uh, and yeah initially this one was false right so it had closed and when we toggle it to true it changed to open this one and then it will trigger the animation and go from one to two in scale and there you see works fine but this one shouldn't be scaled we should rotate it so when it's closed it should have rotate of zero degrees and when it's open it should rotate to 45 degrees so I refresh hey maybe we should keep this scale to like <laughs> always right it was nice to have a bigger icon I think I had it before as well so yeah scale 2 we can always have it right but now our state is false it will choose the closed one so no rotation at all and when we click it it will go to open and rotate 45 degrees and there we have it that's our final animation for the icon works really smooth so now we need to animate our menu as well and I you could guess that I will prepend this menu with motion and we could pass initial to false because we don't want any animation when we start off and we need it needs to have some variants now I'm passing the icon variant so it will do these ones right we just try it out and pass the animation so it will be kind of weird right there you see it so yeah it shouldn't have the icon variants we will create a new object called menu variants um, so I'll copy this one and change the name to menu variants so when it's closed um, I'll remove this one when it's closed I want instead of being at top zero uh, like this one is I want it to shoot it up like 90 view height so from like here and upwards it will move up and only ha have this one visible right uh, and when it's opened it will go to top zero uh, and then we copy this menu variants and it will have these variants instead so let's refresh and see there we go so it will be at hide everything it will be on top here above our browser and when we open it it will uh, set its top to zero so go down until top is zero like it was initially and there we have it works really good so yeah this is a simple first tutorial but you can do some really amazing stuff so quickly uh, yeah so just to go through everything because it went kind of quick um, so first of all import motion put it before your um, elements and then 
either you pass initial or uh, to false or don't do anything if you want an <laughs> initial animation you give it the variance right uh, so it knows what it should do when you trigger it and you trigger it by changing the animate property right so I mean you don't need to change it you could have passed opened only like we had before uh, like this and that is a change right the first time it will change uh, from nothing to open and then do that animation um, but yeah here we go it's super easy to animate uh, yeah thank you for watching bye